Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Fedora 33 on VMware Workstation. Open browser and go to get fedora.org. Current stable version is Fedora 33. See, we have three types of downloads. One is Workstation and the second one is Server and third one is for IoT. Suppose if you want to install Fedora Server then click on Download. If you want to install Workstation then click on Download now. Then download this Fedora 33 x86 64 DVD ISO. Then click on this download button. See, once we click on download, download has been started. Let's go to downloads and verify. See, it is downloading. But notice here, I have already downloaded Fedora workstation. I am cancelling this one. In your case, wait until download completes. I hope download is completed on your machine. Now, if you have already installed VMware Workstation, then open VMware Workstation. Otherwise, download VMware Workstation Player. Search for VMware Workstation Player, then click on this download VMware Workstation Player. This is free. Then click on download now and install. I have already downloaded and installed. Okay. Open VMware Workstation by going to Start Programs, VMware Workstation Pro. Then click on what this VMware Workstation Pro. See, this is the VMware Workstation window. Now click on Create a New Virtual Machine. Then I am going with the default typical option and click on Next. Then select the ISO file which we have downloaded. Then open Fedora 64 bit detected. Then click on Next. Here provide the name for your Fedora Virtual Machine and provide the path to store this Fedora operating system files. See, I am going to store all the virtual machine files and folders in this path and click on next. Here, provide the virtual hard disk size. By default, it has selected 20 gigabytes. I am changing it to 15 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, this is the summary of virtual machine. See here, memory size selected as 1 GB. I want, if you want to increase, then click on this customize hardware and change the memory size. Here I am giving 4 GB and click on close. And also notice here this checkbox. What it is saying? Power on this virtual machine after creation. If you want to start installation immediately, then select this checkbox and click on finish. It automatically starts the installation of Fedora on VMware workstation. Select the first option that is start Fedora workstation live 33 and press enter. Notice here cursor is disabled. If you want to come out cursor from this one then, then press alt to control from your keyboard. See cursor release. Then escape to check. Then click on install to hard drive. Then select the language and click on continue. Then select the installation destination. I am going with I am going with default installation destination. Then click on done. Then click on begin installation. See, from now onwards, it will take 30 minutes to 1 hour. I am pausing this video until this installation progress completes. See, Fedora is now successfully installed and ready to use. Now, now click on this finish installation. Now click on drop down button and select power off or logout. Then click on restart. Now click on this start setup. In the privacy window, then click on next. If you want to connect any of these accounts, then click on them and connect. As of now, I don't want to connect any of my personal account. Then skip. Then provide the full name. Here I am giving name as R2Schools. This will be the user created. Then set the password.
then click on next see we have successfully configured fedora then click on start using fedora if you want to take a tour then click on start tour now click on activities and search for terminal or drag the terminal and paste in the program or drag to desktop now click on terminal if you want to check the fedora version more etc os release see we have installed fedora version 33 if you want to check the IP of Fedora, then use the command IF config. See, IP is 192.168.152.128. Or use IP ADDR show. See, this is the IP 192.168.152.128. If you want to update all the Fedora packages, then use the sudo dnf update. Provide the password. This may take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Fedora 33 on VMA Workstation. For more Linux and Fedora videos, please like this video and Subscribe my channel. Thank you.